Your Excellency Dato Ahmadine Abdul Rahman, Chair of the ASEAN Ministerial Meeting on Disaster Management and Minister of Home Affairs of Brunei Darussalam, Your Excellency Dr. Kao Kim Horn, uh, Secretary General of ASEAN, esteemed ministers, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to send you this message on the occasion of the 12th ASEAN Ministerial Meeting on Disaster Management and the commemoration of the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. Southeast Asia is no stranger to disasters, but you're also leaders in disaster risk reduction. With the legally binding Regional Disaster Risk Reduction Agreement, the ASEAN Agreement on Disaster Management and Emergency Response, you are a model for how countries can come together to address common risks. Indeed, as we near the 20th anniversary of the Indian Ocean tsunami, I'm reminded that one of the best examples of multilateralism and international cooperation originated from this region, which contributed to the strengthening of early warning systems across the region. It is our collective duty to ensure the lessons of that disasters and the spirit of solidarity that followed it are passed on to the next generation. That is why the theme of this year's International Day is on empowering the next generation through education to build a resilient future. Its main call to action is for all countries to follow the example of the ASEAN member states by endorsing the comprehensive school safety framework. That said, with five years remaining in the lifetime of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, we must double our efforts to accelerate implementation. Specifically, allow me to spotlight three priorities for your consideration. First, enhanced readiness to build back better from disasters to ensure long-term resilience and, and socioeconomic recovery. Second, scaling up disaster risk reduction financing to fully implement risk reduction strategies and climate adaptation plans. And third, empowering local governments and communities with the necessary resources and capacities to help them build their resilience. This includes empowering the most vulnerable and at-risk members of society. Excellencies, your leadership in disaster risk reduction is commendable and I'm inspired by your commitment. I thank you for taking the time to mark the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction and please know that UNDRR is committed to its partnership with ASEAN and its member states. Thank you.